So uh, we summarize here the evolution of a low mass star. You have a star in the main sequence, it is in here, in the main sequence, it has a hydrogen burning core and uh, envelope a quiescent hydrogen. As it exhausts the hydrogen in the core and starts burning hydrogen in a shell around the core, it passes to the subgiant branch. Uh, as convection deepens, it eventually reaches the red giant branch where you have the inert helium core, the hydrogen burning shell and convection going all the way to this burning shell and making the star swell. As the helium flash happens, uh, you lift the degeneracy in the helium core and the star gets to the horizontal branch. In the horizontal branch, you have a helium burning core burning as an ideal gas uh, with a hydrogen burning shell and inert hydrogen in the atmosphere. Again, as the carbon ash builds up, you have now a degenerate carbon core with a layer of a helium burning shell and hydrogen burning shell, convection again sets in and the star climbs again. Uh, the giant branch now, it's an asymptotic giant branch star. The, um, this is a very unstable region for the star to be. The hydrogen burning, the, the, the boundary between the helium burning shell and the hydrogen burning shell, as the hydrogen burning shell deposits more helium, uh, you have a series of helium flashes. The less helium flash releases enough energy to eject the atmosphere of the star, that's the planetary nebula. And then once the planetary nebula is ejected, what is exposed then is the inert carbon oxygen core, which is a white dwarf that does a little bit of cooling. So this is the same plot here, but with time scales.